Ahab, king of Samaria, was in a dispute with Naboth the Jezreelite over a vineyard near his palace. Ahab offered to sell Naboth's vineyard for a vegetable garden in exchange for a better one or a payment of whatever it was worth. Naboth refused, citing the Lord's prohibition on giving him his ancestor's inheritance. Ahab was angry and refused to eat, leading his wife Jezebel to write letters in his name and send them to the elders and nobles in Naboth's city. The elders and nobles proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth in a prominent place among the people. Two scoundrels then brought charges against Naboth, accusing him of cursed both God and the king. They took him outside the city and stoned him to death. Jezebel then instructed Ahab to take possession of Naboth's vineyard, which he had refused to sell. When Ahab heard that Naboth was dead, he went down to take possession of the vineyard. The Lord told Elijah the Tishbite to confront Ahab, who had sold himself to do evil in the eyes of the Lord. He warned Ahab of a disaster, wiping out his descendants and cutting off every male in Israel. Additionally, the Lord warned dogs to devour Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel and eat those belonging to Ahab who died in the city and birds to feed on those who died in the country. Ahab, who had sold himself to do evil in the eyes of the Lord, was urged by Jezebel's wife to go after idols. He tore his clothes, put on sackcloth, fasted, and went around meekly. The Lord then told Elijah the Tishbite that Ahab had humbled himself before him, and the disaster would not be brought on his house in his time, but on his son's house.